got timepiece trading. I'm about to pick up my new watch. Here we go. What's up, Jack? All right, let's see what we got. My wear for the break. What's up, Tiffany gang? Welcome to this week's video where we sell Jack, a famous YouTuber, his dream AP. So stay tuned to see what happens. And before you go, we have a new member of the TPT family, so please, Mark, introduce yourself. Hello, guys, my name is Marco. Just joined the TPT family. Like and subscribe, and happy to be here. Now, let's jump in the video. <laughs> like Barney. Better than Barney. Better than Barney. Come on. That's really nice. The new Barney's beat, dude. I missed the Barney when I was growing up. <laughs> Barney is beat, bro. When I was growing up, when I was growing up, Barney was the goat. Now it's like I don't know what happened to him. No, 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 no. <laughs> What's going on? So I wanted to check in today because we did get a bunch of good stuff in the mail. I wanted to walk you through a few pieces. To be honest with you, these are all super heavy hitters, big boy pieces. But if you are in the market for a very, you know, super heavy hitter piece or something very special, we have a lot of options that just came in. First one that landed on my desk this morning did not look like this. Now it looks absolutely amazing. Thanks to Ethan who hooked it up with the new strap. So this guy is going to be the 6702 white NTPT that we threw the purple strap on. Never in my life have I seen a watch with a purple strap that looks so good. This watch looks absolutely incredible. Actually might have to, uh, if it wasn't new, I'm just gonna be honest with you, it'd be getting a little bit of wrist time throughout the day today because this purple strap looks crazy, but it is a brand new watch, 2023. So we have this guy in stock now, looks phenomenal. Really excited to have it here. If you're interested, hit us up and let us know what you think about the purple colorway. Are you with it? Are you not with it? Check it out. Moving right along, this piece we've had in stock for a little bit now, but it did get a facelift this morning as well. This is going to be the RM52 Skull Turbion. This is going to be ceramic TZP, of course, with the Turbion cage in the mouth of the skull. Limited 30 pieces, but we did put this really nice purple strap on it, which I really like as well. This is going to be the 1103 McLaren strap. Um, to be honest with you, this strap is incredibly difficult to find. I wasn't sure how it was going to look on the skull, but I think it looks amazing. I posted it on my story last night, people were going crazy for it, so very exciting to uh, change it up. It's nice to change straps on the watches from here and, uh, here and there in order to give it a new look, and honestly, it gets more eyes on it. People are interested by it, and when they do see the new strap, maybe they become interested in it. So we're really excited to have this guy in stock, of course, with the new strap. And to be honest with you, this setup, if you have this setup in your collection, you're doing something right for sure, because this would be absolutely insane. Next up, we actually did pick up a piece that I think we have not had in stock since probably 2019-ish. We have sold, I believe, two or three pieces of this, but this is gonna be the RM1103 Ultimate Edition. So guys, blue NTPT, black NTPT, 1103 case. This is the last time they're going to be, of course, making the 1103. Very special that they use the blue NTPT. I know that it is quite difficult to work with. Watch looks absolutely phenomenal and really excited to have this guy as well. Priced pretty well. They were incredibly expensive um, at one point over 750,000. Today, of course, they're trading at a discount from there. So if you're interested, hit us up because we have this guy in stock now. Moving on to a very serious duo. We actually picked up two very special pieces. We got a ARM 35 all gold with the, um, with the skeleton case. Very special piece is America's only edition. This is actually the first RM that we ever sold at Timepiece Trading, to be honest with you. So we have it back here. This is not my favorite rendition of the piece. My favorite is the RM35 Black Toro, which is going to be very similar, except black TZP ceramic on top and rose gold on the sides. Absolute stunner. I love this pair. I think it's a very beautiful combo to have. And to be honest with you, to have both of them in stock at the same time is very impressive. It's something that we've never had happen before here at Timepiece Trading, but two beautiful pieces. Let me know what you guys think down below. Which one would you pick? Would you pick the Gold Toro or the Black Toro? I'm telling you myself, 100% going for the Black Toro, but I know a lot of guys out there are gonna be looking at this and saying, damn, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Next up, we actually did pick up a ladies piece. So we got this RM37 in stock. This is gonna be a brand new 2022 piece. 
NCPT full pave with rose gold sides, of course, and because it's a 37, it's gonna be featuring a little bit of a bigger case as well as the date pusher on it, which is quite exciting. I really like this piece. I think it's beautiful for a lady. I like the full setting compared to the partial or, or med set pieces myself. I actually like this better than the full baguette setting too. I think it is, you know, very understated as far as having diamonds because the black tones it down a little bit and the full NTPT case throughout rose gold sides can't go wrong for a lady. If you're looking to get your wife or girlfriend right, this is definitely the piece because uh, this is going to be turning a lot of heads when she's wearing this in her room. Next up, we're going to be moving into a paddock section. So we've actually been on a little bit of a buying spree for paddock. This morning, we actually just picked up this piece the customer left about maybe 15 minutes ago. This is a brand new 5981R. This guy is going to be featuring the new buckle, of course, as well. This is going to be an October of 2022 piece. Absolute stunner. Of course, 5980 is a piece that many people are always looking to put into their collection. I definitely think it's one of those grail paddocks that a lot of people aspire to pick up. I myself was never a big fan of the 5980 Chrono until I saw one in person, got to, spend, got to spend a little bit of time with it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, as far as quality of life, the new buckle is very nice, stays closed, really easy to open. And I like the look of the clover, of course, on the back of the clasp. So we have this guy in stock here. If you guys are interested, let us know. Next up into some Aquanauts. This morning, we actually picked up a 5167R. So this piece is going to be pre-owned complete from 2022. You guys can take a look. Condition is pretty good overall. Could use a little bit of a touch up, but pretty good to be honest with you. Has a long strap of course too, so it's gonna be fitting a big wrist. The good news is that the bezel is pretty clean. There is some marks of course on the soft and uh, high polished gold on the side, but overall really clean, really nice, and the classic Aquanaut. We also have the stainless steel piece in that we picked up last week, but this is the gold variation. Let me know if you guys would get this or the stainless steel and what you think about the 5167. I myself am a little bit partial to the 5968s and 5164s. They are a little bit more complicated, but this simple look I know it does very well and people do love it all across the world. Next up, one of my top favorite Aquanauts. This is gonna be the 5968A. So this is going to be one of the bigger Aquanauts, of course, being a 5968. Very comfortable watch. I love the orange strap and the orange accents inside of it. Stainless steel makes it very easy and fun to wear. Definitely very comfortable. And I think it's a watch that a lot of the people have been aspiring to pick up. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've seen this watch do uh, the dash a few times. They came out hot out of the gate, went all the way up over $200,000 drop back down into the low 100s, it did it again. Now we're in the third or fourth cycle of this happening where they've gone up over 200, back down into the lower two, uh, sorry, lower 100s. And today, this watch, we have it in stock. Unfortunately, it did not last so long. We got it about an hour ago and it's already sold. So in and out, really excited for the customer that's gonna be picking this up. But one of my favorite pieces, this is definitely something that I'm gonna have in a personal collection one day because this watch is absolutely incredible. When you see it with the orange accents and the orange strap, it's amazing. Definitely would not be worrying on the black strap almost under any circumstance. It needs to have the orange strap on it in my opinion, but really beautiful piece. And if you wanna throw the black on and it's for you, definitely try it out as well. Lastly, we got a piece that is not for sale as well in stock this morning. This is gonna be a 6702 in black NTPT. This guy didn't even make it to the incoming shipments chat. As soon as we were trying to buy it, Rithik and Amr were really interested in it. So they're actually gonna be throwing it into the personal collection and holding on to it. It's quite rare that we get 6702 blacks in. We've had a lot of the green or the purple uh, mutas or stuff like that. Even the white we have in stock, of course, but the black ones are a little bit hard to find, to be honest with you, um, at least at least this colorway. So really excited to have this um, at the office. Maybe Rithik or Amr will let me wear it for a little bit because I do really enjoy the 67, um, but definitely a really special piece. And let me know what you guys think down below or if you guys have questions or comments or if there's something else you want to see us put into inventory. 26702s. It's my favorite piece from signing these tones. I just added it to the personal collection. Real. I've been eyeing this piece for like two years now. The day is finally come. <laughs> Sick. You got both of them, bro? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe another two years. My brother Gareth came into the office. He's a good client of mine, as of course you've seen him in a few other episodes as well. He came back to trade in his rose gold root beer and of course i will not spoil the honors my brother oh, thank 
Thank you, my friend. What's up, TPT fan? Oh, man. It's always crazy. Wow, that is beautiful. Yeah. I'll be happy with this. <laughs> uh, you know, I think you should be more than wow. happy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. I love that. Thought I was gonna go out of here sad with this little slight downgrade. This is really nice, really amazing. Thank you all. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. I'm very, very happy. With that. It was really good timing too. The watch came in yesterday. We were able to buy it from one of our clients for a really good deal, so I was able to pass that good deal on to you as well. Thank you so much. The Skyblower actually is the most complicated Rolex that they make. Yes. So in, for in terms of complications, and you'll need some links out, right? Yes. Cool. I really like how that looks, man. Wow. This color is beautiful. I didn't even and the blue hits it really differently. Yes. We're going to pop up man. Gareth's Instagram. Yeah. We got oh. To full factory set Rainbow Daytona, full Pave bracelet, Pave lugs, Pave dial, full sapphire gradient Rainbow. No Stupid. Way. Come check out what we got. 5740, perpetual calendar, white. White gold, blue dial, Nautilus, one of my favorites. We, we don't get this too often in the office. Very, very nice. This is one of my favorites. Titanium Sheesh. and carbon, uh, NTBT uh, carbon. Super, super nice. Weighs basically nothing. Similar to the white legend, but I, I like this one better to be honest with you. But I believe this is a platinum AP Torb factory set bezel, baguette bezel. Incredible piece with also the smoke uh, grand capacity dial, ridiculous. Weighs so much. That looks super, crazy. super heavy. Fifteen four hundred, but you know, that's a little bit, a little bit more special than. This. Oh, you had to start <laughs> with the heavy hitters. <laughs> you got to start with the heavy hitters. So yeah, this is honestly my favorite that we got today, guys. Rainbow Daytona. Like, say what you want about this watch. You're stunning on everybody if you have this watch on. So if you guys are interested, Rainbow Daytona, Dark Legend. 5740, it's like a candy shop today, guys. How much is this? Uh, that one's 435. Cheers. Never mind. <laughs> Blue color is like the other one, so it's like. Can you drop test? <laughs> no, no. Not really, not from ah, this one. Okay. <laughs> I actually buy both. Ah, Wait, what's the difference between this one and uh, the one here? The new one has like an improved movement. Um, and on the dial, I don't know if you see it, that one's automatic. The new one doesn't. Yeah, it's like. As if anyone really uses it to tell the time, let's it's, be real. It's slight differences, but it's just a newer model. Yeah. Yeah. It's to let people know what time it is, you know? <laughs> Damn it. This is where it gets crazy. Really? Let's see. Can I open it all? Should I open it this way? Get a nice angle. All right, ready? Out of my baguette. Let's see. Ooh, I don't even know. Oh. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. Here we go, ready? Nah, it's like... Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, a box in a box. Do you want to take it out the box? Take out the box, yeah. All right. Ooh, I like the box. It's nice. All right, here we go. Ready? Ooh. Dude, that looks so nice. Jesus. That's beautiful. All right. See ya. So obviously, since you're here, I can size it for you. Yeah. Make sure that the size is right. Put that right there. It's a pretty crazy upgrade, bro. Yeah, for real. I don't like the diamonds. It's, I'm over it. How do I open it? Right here. Just not now. You go just press the go back to Brooklyn City Center and say, "What? I'm banned." Yeah. <laughs> I'm banned. What does ban mean? What is B A N? Wait, on your right or on your left? I right on this one. I'm over here. And always make sure to close this size first. Oh, this is scary. Or otherwise, you just want to like ruin the. I don't want to do that. Can I always fix it? I mean, yeah, it can, it can be polished. Ooh, that looks clean. Dang, dude, that's too hard. That's too hard. Ooh, yo, where the bitch is at? <laughs> Does this get or no? Oh, of course, yeah. Okay, thank oh, God. It's better, goddamn. So, how much would this watch normally go for? It's like a uh, MTC if you ever try to buy it. <laughs> I think people could pay up to like 45 for that, to be honest. Key. Hey, and I didn't even pay over 40, so that's key. I got a good deal on it. In, in the peak of the market, they used to be like 75K. So you, you came in at the right time. Like, just like you look at stocks and crypto, it's down a lot right now. It's a good time to buy. So 
I think he did really well. Hey, it goes back up to 75k. I'm coming right back here and selling it. Let's be real. Yeah, I'm over and we'll buy it. Let's go. I'm gonna get. I'll get like a car or something. I'll get a car instead. Nah, this is fire though. Let's film that. I want to film a TikTok real quick. Uh, we have to like rewalk in here and be like, act yeah, like uh, like kind of like my don't talk to the mic videos. Yeah, everything's about marketing. It's how you market well, yourself. Exactly. Buy a watch from Timepiece, like everyone knows them, you know? Yeah, we're, 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 that's ble we're blessed to have that though, it's crazy. Yeah. My first AP, out of my baguette. Yeah. Does it matter where you no, wear no, it on no. or no? Like some people are more comfortable since you write with your left. Yeah. You don't scratch your watch on the desk. Yeah, I feel like I do more with my left. So that's why I like try to keep on the right. Here we go. Hey, here we go. I got two watches and we still come in late. I got two watches and I still can't get f***ers. What the f***? We were at Timepiece Trading. I'm about to pick up my new watch. Here we go. What's up, Jack? All right, let's see what we got. Excited to see this? Yes, sir. Jeez, an Automa Forget. Stainless steel AP, reference 15500 ST. This piece is crazy. At the peak of the market, it was like, what, 75K? And Jack just picked it up under 50, which is insane. He got a good deal and we're happy to hook him up. So. Let's go, W timepiece trading. This is the best one talking to Mike video. I got a new watch, let's put it on. Better be a loud pack in Brooklyn City Center after this. <laughs> hey, I'm going everywhere. Looks too good. Hey, there we go. The new AP. Hey, follow and this could be you. Look, if you want to take it off, I'll show you the difference. The difference between like the older and newer models. And also when you're putting it on, you always want to put the side that doesn't say AP first. So like this one goes first. Just pushing it, you know. If not, yeah, you want to like scratch the top of the AP. And then when you want to release it, just push this and it should fire. Yeah, it's hard. Is it too tight for you or are you good? I, I like it. I like it. Yeah. yeah. I, wear, I wear my I think this one's like tight too tight, but like, it's not, not really weird on this wrist. It's weird. I feel like this wrist is like a little smaller. In my opinion, watches shouldn't have any like, like wiggle. Yeah, I don't like any wiggle. Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes so it look like not classic. No no lamb. No lamb. It's next bit, final lamb. Bro. So look, Brand. this is the 15400, the one you got. This is the 15400, 15400. Main difference, well, of course, the color dial. But on the dial, you'll see automatic at the bottom. Well, this one doesn't say it. And in the back, the open case back is a little uh, smaller. So you see partially the movement. So that one has it too, I don't even know. Yes, sir. This one. It actually looks much better. It's way bigger. Well, yeah, it looks so cool. So you see the whole movement. Yeah, that's lit. So definitely the best choice. Let's go. Pro probably the hardest piece to get from a Rolex yeah, boutique yeah. in the world. That one looks crazy. How much is that one? This is worth uh, 650. Jesus. What's like, the cheapest watch here? In this case, yeah. probably this ladies RM, which I wouldn't say it's cheap by any means. Actually, this is the RM10. This is like an entry level RM. And this is worth yeah, 160. This one's heavier for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Richard Mille costs a Lambo. For real. For real, it costs more than a Lambo. Yeah, I have a personal Richard Mille in my collection. Like I just actually just added this. To that's fire. Yeah. Which is it's it's the same thing, but it's like a different color combo. It's crazy how light that is. Yeah. That's why I like it. Like I wear this to the gym. I wear this to the beach. Like I wear it for work. Like, what are like the retail awesome. on it? Um. So this retail is at like 170. And I told you I think it goes for like 360. Yeah. How many are in the world? Uh. Richard Mille makes 3,600 3, oh, yeah. watches a year. Oh, wow. Whereas, like, AP makes 40,000 watches a year. Oh, wow. So, super, super limited, rare. And most of the watches that Richard Mille makes, like, that's, you see here, is out of production. So, it's discontinued. This one looks like, it's like it worked a little bit, like a little bang, but it's obviously not. Which one, this? This one. Oh, yeah, 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 that's the case size. That's yeah, the case shape. Very cool. Okay. So, if you saw me wearing this watch, what would you think? Daddy's money? No, hell no. I think you have great taste in watches for sure. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. It's a little... uh, on the other hand, if I saw you out with the Rolex bust down. Yeah, I'd be like, yo, this, this is <laughs> yeah. a little shit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I know. That's why I look at myself. It was cool for like the <laughs> first month or two. But I mean, it's good for like the club and shit because no, no girls know what, what an AP is, but yeah. they know what diamonds are. But do you, do you really want those girls who, do, who don't know no, what AP is? not for more than 30 seconds. Exactly. No. Thanks again for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you in next week's episode. I don't like doing this. All right, let, let's summarize first. Okay, hey, what's up, DVT gang? Does that look good? Yeah?
What's up, DPT gang? Welcome to this new. You see? <coughs> What's up, DPT gang? Welcome to this new week's episode. Um, man, in this week's video, we'll we give Jack, a famous YouTuber. <coughs> What's up, DPT gang? Welcome to this week's episode. <coughs> What's up, DPT gang? Welcome to this week's video. <coughs> you see?